Hello everyone, this is Pastor Sean from Christians Unite, and this is another edition of Reading Through the Bible. On this episode of Reading Through the Bible, we're going to be looking at James chapter 4. Faith produces humility. From whence come wars and fighting among ye? Come they not hence, even of your lust that war in your members? Ye lust and have not, ye killed, and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight a war, ye, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not, because you ask amiss, and you may consume it upon your lust. You adulterers and you adulteresses, know ye not the friendship of the world, world in enmity with God? Whosoever, therefore, will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Do ye think that the scripture says in vain, The spirit that dwelleth in the lust to envy? But he giveth more grace wherever he say, God resisteth the proud, but giveth grace to the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted, and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of, of one another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother, and judges his brother, speaketh evil of the law, and judges the law, but if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is only one lawgiver who is able to save and destroy. Who art thou to judge another? So this is talking about our mindsets. So if we are living a life that is full of um, self-desire, we fulfill our own needs before God's needs, he will depart from us. But if we humble ourselves and follow after his ways, he will be with us. So we need to make sure that we have our hearts in the right place and follow the path of good and not evil. And then also it says that we should not be judging others like the ways that God does. Because we don't decide who goes to heaven or hell. God does. That's his final judgment and not ours. Verse 13. Faith produces dependence on God. Go to now, you say, to the day or tomorrow. We will go into such a city and continue there a year, and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas you know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanishes away. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. So this part of the section of the verse is talking about our lives. They, it is literally a very small segment compared to the bigger picture. We're only here for a short time, so it is better to do good while we are here. So doing evil while we are here is not a good idea. We need to be following God's will while we're on the earth for the time that we do have. Thank you for listening to this edition of Reading Through the Bible. Follow us in the next video for James chapter 3.